Hi guys, so I'm just doing this video to show you how I'm learning piano um, electronically. I don't have an acoustic piano anymore because I had to sell it when my parents sold the house and I can't, you know, uh, move one between houses. Um, I was on grade 3 before. Um, I haven't played for a number of years but I want to go back to learning it. So anyway, so I have a piano stool. Um, this is a USB keyboard. It is sound. It is, it's, sorry, it is keyboard only. There is no sound coming from it. This is a Studio Logic Numa model. It sends the signals to my laptop. My laptop then sends the sound out via USB to this amplifier to give better sound output. Sometimes I stick um, proper headphones into it rather than the cheap monitors here. So I also have some programs. So. I have Sibilus 7.5, this will let me create scores, I'm sure you know what that program does. Synthesia is one of the programs I will be showing you today. Um, this lets you see piano notes as falling blocks, kind of like Guitar Hero, but for the piano. Piano Tech is, um, is a program that simulates grand pianos, so it produces a quite close sound. Aurelia 4, that is an ear training program, it teaches teaches you relative pitch intervals and stuff. Musician 4, that's a program for music theory, covers everything. Loop B1 is a virtual MIDI um, program. It basically allows Synthesia and Piano Tech to work together by um, it links them. Otherwise, they will try and fight over the input from this one keyboard. And last of all, I have Photoscope Ultimate. That lets me basically have any pictures of sheet music and convert them into a digital score. It's like optical recognition. So what I will first do is load up Piano Tech. So you know this is a program. Okay, I can use the mouse. So the second thing is I'm going to load up Synthesia. So you might have seen this program before. If you haven't, I think it's a really cool way to, to learn because one of the problems I had was I couldn't hear um, the notes, I couldn't recognize them. So if, if I played the wrong note, I wouldn't know which note I which note I did it. I wish I wouldn't know which note I had just played. So I had to look at my hands. It was because of that I never really developed the ability to sight read or play without looking at my hands. So I'm gonna put on an example, and you can see what I mean. So you have the sheet music on top, the blocks falling down. And as you can see there. Okay, so this is all looks pretty snazzy. Um, however, there is one uh, little limitation, which which is that um, this program doesn't have a practice mode, i.e. it forces you to play a MIDI file of a track. So what I have done is, I have created a blank MIDI file. Well, not quite blank, there are only two notes into it. Okay, so there are only two notes into it. Uh, C7 here, and the lowest note here at the very end of the track. And in between, is just silence. And so what I do is I set Synthesia to loop all the silent bit in between. And so this way you can practice by yourself um, or any sort of music you choose. You can put you can put it here and if you press keys it will show you which ones you've just done. And this and you won't have the distracting blocks falling down or random notes appearing and whatnot. Um, the reason I had loop B1, the program before, was was for this reason. For example, I have Synthesia loaded up. It accepts input from this keyboard, but it output is, but its output isn't to Piano Tech. It's to this virtual MIDI thing, loop B internal MIDI. And as you can see, I've set Piano Tech to accept inputs from this virtual MIDI thing from this virtual MIDI program. So 
everything I press in, in, in Synthesia will get transferred to Piano Tech via the use of Loop B1, um, the virtual MIDI program. Okay, that's it for now. So this is again, this is my setup um, in, in full. Um, I hope in a few months time I'll be good enough to play something and upload it to YouTube. All right. I forgot to add one thing. You really need to install this program as well. As you for all, um, it's it basically reduces latency from the key presses to sound. You've got to install it. Um, otherwise, there'll be too much of a delay. Okay.